Italian Neorealism, from 1944 to 1952. The Italian Neorealism arose after the Second World War and it was one of the most vital movements in the history of the world cinema. The Italian Neorealism developed during the ends of the Second World War and flourished for a relatively short period of time before ending abruptly. In the 1930s, Mussolini saw the significance of film as a cultural institution instead of simply a tool for propaganda. For this, Mussolini created a very traditional film industry, being very socially conservative and having respect for authority. When he died, the film industry created films that were the complete opposite of that. This was the Italian neorealism. Some of the characteristics include 1. Radical 2. Portray real life and focus on working class characteristics and their concerns. 3. Questions authority. 4. Reflection on what life for working class people was like. 5. City life. 6. Medium and long shots rather than close-ups. 7. Survival and poverty. 8. They used semi-professional actors mostly. 9. They shot their films outdoors. And 10. They worked on small budgets. Some of the most important directors of the Italian neorealism were Vittorio De Sica with films like Bicycle Thief or Shoeshine, Luchino Visconti with films like Obsession and Roberto Rossellini with Journey to Italy. In the modern day, many films and directors have borrowed heavily from the Italian neorealism. Shane Meadows and Ken Loach are clear examples and have shown a massive inspiration towards Italian neorealist films in their own films, like Riff Raff or This Is England. In these images, we can see that they are set mainly outdoors and show concerns of working class characters. Also, there is a big use of long and medium shots rather than close-ups of their faces. To conclude this video essay, this is an example of an Italian neorealism inspired short clip. How dare you stole my money? I thought we were friends. I haven't done anything. Liar! How am I meant to pay for my rent now? That's not my problem. 